Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Not House Podcast. Today is Thursday the 18th. I think it's the 19th. 18th 18. or 19th of July. It's the 18th. And this is podcast number 27. It's in the afternoon, so it feels a little strange. We normally do this in the morning, but we've had a busy day today. And there's a there's a police car right there across the street trying to get somebody, but no sirens. So that's a good thing, I guess. So I hope everybody's having a good summer. Um, it's been a while since we've podcasted. Four weeks. Has it been a four whole weeks? It has been four whole weeks. Four whole weeks? Four whole weeks. Well, that explains how I've got so much done on something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a lot more to show than I do. No, that's not true. What do we want to talk about first? Well, let's talk about what you're wearing. So, um, it is a good color. It is a good color. It is a good color on me. Yeah. Um, this is the Millie. It is. Which is a design by the Nice and Knit ladies. And mom has been wanting to make a Millie forever. Now we have two police cars across the street. I'm trying not to be too distracted. Um, but when I did the, um, what was it? Um, shrimp scampi, mom? Yes. She wanted, she wanted to use that color. I think that's what, I think that's what we said, or I wanted you to use that color. I don't remember how it went. No, I wanted to use it. She's taking credit, credit for the pretty color. No, 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 I'm not. Oh, and you were complaining. I need some mohair. I need some mohair now. And we went and found the darker mohair, which is what? So this is shrimp scampi and diamond sock. And this is New York Minute. Yeah. Which and mohair debonair, yeah. So it, it makes it much kind of cherrier. To me, it looks like ruby red grapefruit. Okay. So, so yeah, so I'll stand up. This is the Millie. What size did you make? A small. Carol's back there laughing at me. Um, so how many skeins did it take to do the small? Two and two. I thought the small was one. No, no, two. So two sock and two mohair. Two sock and two mohair. But you probably had some mohair left over. Uh, barely. Really? Yeah. So I just want you guys to know that the first time she, well, not the first time she knit it, but when I tried it on the first time, the sleeves were too tight and they still are a little tight. No, they're they're better. You know, I told her that maybe my arms are longer, and it's coming up to the wider part on my arm and not the skinnier part maybe. or something. I don't know. Or maybe I just have fat arms. Maybe. Um, but it's better. She took it out. You took it out and redid it. You redid the whole, how much? I just recast off. Oh. I knew okay. my bind off was a little tight. So anyway, she does this thing with the bind offs on the sleeves that just cho chokes you. Part of it's because I do it on a nine inch needle. So consequently it feels different when you're binding off. So anyway, so that's what I'm wearing. Okay. And I am wearing Hoji's um, hipster cow. We'll take it off and show everybody. Even though I just said, where is the fringe? And she said, we haven't gotten there yet. We have a little bit of fringe. It looks good without the French. So Carissa did this one, and this is in Such a Flirt. Again, my um, DK. And then Mom did it in Dress for It in navy blue, which is everybody's, well, some people's favorite navy blue. Yep, it's a pretty navy blue. It's a pretty navy. And you guys did the three skein version, right? We did. Which is the only version. Well, but you said somebody came in and wanted, was, was gonna do it smaller and they only needed two skeins. Right. So you could do it in two skeins. You could do it in two skeins, but I don't think it would wrap like this. Because it does look nice doubled up. It's not too tight and it's not too long. Yeah, it, it fits really nice. It's really cute. Yeah, I like it. And so it, the stitch, the um, textured stitch pattern, is exactly like the hipster um, shawl. The same crossover, I think they call that an Indian stitch. 
Um, so you already knew how to do it? Yeah, and it's not hard. You just say it's fiddly. It is a little fiddly, but it was fun to do. And I learned how to Kitchener mm. garter, which is just a little different. You just have to make sure you have your pearl rows where they need to be. So, so um, I've now got a worsted base. It's Lottie Dow worsted, and um, it's the same. It's the same base as the the DK, except it's just a heavier weight. So it's like the eight ply. It is eight ply, yes. Um, how many yards does it mean? Two hundred and eighteen. And I have dyed up. A handful of colors. We have the um, dress for it. We have such a flirt, which is the color mom has got on. Right. And I did teal your heart, which would be gorgeous done in this. Yes, it would. Um, Deco. Yes, I'm gonna go get the teal your heart. Okay. Okay. I really like this face. It's a really tight twist. Um, I believe it's chain ply and it just is squishy. It really feels good and it's nice to work with. Not too heavy and not too soft to twist. So it should really wear well. So this is, if you haven't seen it before, this is Teal, teal My Heart, which is just a really, really pretty green teal. And then this is Deco, which is impartial to it. It's the prettiest, prettiest silver. Um, so anyway, so I've dyed this up and we have it. So if you're interested, we have it. It's not on the website. It will be by the time this gets put up. Mom. It will be by the time it gets put up. So I wonder what's going on across the street. Sorry, we're a little yeah, distracted. Frederick's finest, they're pulling off now. Just um, a little distracted, <clears throat> we are. So, oh, we gotta do the giveaway because thank you everybody. We have reached 3,000 over 3,000 subscribers. And I think we'd said that when we got to um, 3,000, we were gonna do a giveaway. We are gonna do a giveaway. So what do we do? How do we pick the people for the giveaway? You have to comment and you have to be subscribed. Right, but are we gonna do like a special thing? No, it's just gonna be a random. Just a random comment? Mm-hmm. Okay, why don't you show them what um, we picked out? So it is a Julie Oslin bag. Very cute. And a skein of fino, which is, I can't say that in French, pressed flowers. It's a pretty color though, because it's got, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some pink in here. You see that? It's a really pretty skein. And then a skein Alcott of her mohair. So there you go. So this is 400 yards. It is um, cashmere, um, silk and merino. Yes, so. her fino base. Her fino base. Feels so good. It does. And this is so pretty with it. We were talking, well, before the podcast, we were talking about it and um, she said, you can do a ranunculus in this. You could. So, be very pretty. Yep. Yeah. So again, this is the the mohair. So thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We will pick a winner August first. Okay. Okay. Sounds sounds good to me. All right. So, do you want to? You want to go in and talk about the um. The other giveaway that we'd already gave away to Carol? Yes. The summer inspiration? Yeah. You talk about it. Okay. So if you've watched before, um, you know that we are doing a, a little summer inspiration um, giveaway where if you have a picture and you tag it to Not House Summer Inspiration and I choose that to dye up um, yarn, then um, if we pick that picture, you get two skeins of um, diamond sock in that colorway. So um, Scoop Carol, one of our regulars from gosh, six years now, um, 
Um, by the way, we just had our six year anniversary. Yeah, we Fourth did. Fourth of July weekend. We did, we kind of. Let it kind of come and go. We kind of let it come and go. We kind of, I kind of forgot about it, but. I didn't. Um, anyway, so Carol had posted two pictures of hydrangeas and I will post them. I'll put them in uh, the podcast here so you guys can see it. And last night when I was dying it, well, first of all, she thought I didn't like them. And I just want to go on the record and say that the, the, um, uh, what is the, I, what is the called? The, the smiley face. The little smiley. I know, but what they're called something. Emojis. The emojis, right? The one with his tongue stick out and his face is like all scrunched up does not mean you don't like it. <laughs> that's the excited emoji. Especially for you. For me, that's the excited emoji. <laughs> Well, Carol thought I didn't like it because I had put it on there and commented on her picture. Anyway, so I told her I had to give her a lesson in what that meant. But anyway, so last night I was, um, I was dying this and I didn't get it quite right. I didn't get, um, I don't think it looks like a hydrangea at all. Um, although it does have some of the, the colors, of course, in a hydrangea, but I thought it was very pretty the way it turned out. So I decided to name it Summer because it's so light. And it has, you know, a lot of the pastel -y colors of summer. The pastel -y colors of the hydrangea. Yeah. And the green is a pretty green. Yeah. So, um, I have it in sock and in DK. I don't have a swatch to show you how it's going to knit up, but it's going to knit up pretty similar to how um, Fine, China. Fine China does in mm -hmm. that it's, um, it's not going to pool or stripe or anything like that. It's going to be kind of soft. And it, surprisingly, it goes with the... <laughs> a lot of things which wasn't really intentional um this is bee's knees this is a new color that i came up with um if you remember i've talked about the gold mom and i've talked about gold curtains and i'm always trying to get this perfect gold i don't know that this is perfect but this is pretty close uh so um but actually it looks really pretty with the bees with the bees knees it also looks good with um an another new one that i have summer looks good with bees knees yeah what did i say Is that right? Mm -hmm. So I also did another um, new color called Serene, which is another green, Imagine another blue, that. bluish green. So that one looks good. So you see these three? Pretty. Pretty. And then we have another one called uh, Beach House, which is another lightish, bluish uh, gray color. And that one, we don't have anything done in that one. So anyway, thank you, Carol, for posting the pictures. Thank you, everyone who's posted the um, Not How Summer Inspiration. Um, I've already given Carol her yarn. So, um, so yeah, so that's that. So I think it turned out really nice. I like it. That's what we've been doing all day. We've been scanning yarn up because I dyed a bunch of yarn yesterday. Right. So, what else do you want to talk about? Well, I want to talk about that we have the Nomadic Knits. It is a magazine, issue four, which is Maryland, D.C. and Virginia. And there are stories about hand dyers and some really pretty patterns that are in yeah, here. Yeah, some, some nice designers. So I just wanted everybody to know we do still have a nice stock of it. I We sold out and I reordered already. So if you're looking for that, we have it. I thought the girls did a nice job. They did do a nice job. Uh, I, I read uh, what they wrote on Not House Yarns and well, I read, I read through pretty much everything, but um, I thought it was pretty spot on as to as to what I had had basically said. So um, I think it's a a really good publication. I wonder what the next one, where the next one's going to be. I don't know that I've heard. Um, but yes, there's there's several um, really cute patterns. Really cute patterns. A cute summer summer pattern there. Um, so. So yes, yeah, so we've got that, and it was quite a um, a treat to be to be mentioned in the publication. So so yeah, 
Okay, so that's that. All right, so you wanna talk about what you're knitting? So I am knitting, I'm almost to the point to, I don't know what I do next. It's a bottom up sweater. It's, so it's Alicia Plummer's um, campsite um, with the drop shoulder version. And I'm um, almost to the part where I have to, I guess, divide for the sleeves, but. You add the sleeves I mean, in. add the sleeves. Yeah, when you're doing bottom up. So you'll have to do both of the sleeves and then put them in. Right, but I'll just put them on and then I'll put them on waist yarn and then I'll keep going up and then do the sleeve. No, you're right? gonna, no, you do the sleeve, you put it on and you keep going and you'll have decreases. We'll see, I haven't read that much yet. Well, that's how you do bottom up. But I've done another bottom up sweater and I didn't do the sleeve separate. Yes, you did. I don't remember. Anyway, um, you know, mom had said, well, you're gonna have a hard time keeping up with this. And I don't, I don't think I've had a hard time keeping Good. up with the pattern at all. I mean, Good. it's a easy, um, you know, you've got, you've got side panels um, with a, that are just plain stockinette, and then it's just yarn over, yarn over knit two together. And that's what creates the, you know, the little, the holes. So, so yeah, so hopefully I can get this going and this will be one of the things I take to Rhinebeck. And maybe your Millie too? To Rhinebeck? Mm -hmm. Maybe, but I got to wear something underneath it because it rides up. Like right now I have it on and my whole belly is showing. <laughs> well, let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, only the girls can see it in the back. So, um, but anyway, no, so this is done in DK. This is DK too. And she, like I said, she just released this pattern. I don't know. I, I think she had a um, special going on on the pattern, but I don't remember how long it goes. So, so I'm excited about it. You know, everybody else gets excited about color work. Mom gets excited about color work, but I just like a plain. Just give me something plain. So, and it's plain, but not plain. I got gotcha. you. So that's what I'm working on. What are you working on? Well, I've got a couple of things I'm working on. I was kind of in between and I started the Duchesne tea and I am using Cloudy, which is a lunge. You might want to read what that is. This is the Surrey Alpaca. It is. And I used it with the diamond sock and I was very impressed with how the color so this is my base color. And the color from the cloudy really shows up. Yeah, it kind of it kind of takes over in it, a way. It really does. Um, so cuz this is called torque. But see it's got a lot of the yellows and golds in it and it really does show up. So I've got the front of it done. I'm going to do the lace panel in the back as well and you then you sew up the side seams and you have to do the um, pick up and do little sleeves. So I kind of got this started. I wanted to have something to show what the Surrey alpaca looks like with the cloudy. Yeah, it's really, and I really like it. It's really soft. Um, so this is definitely not a lace weight. No, it is not. Well, what is it really classified as? It's more of a fingering. So when you put it though with a fingering, it really does. Yeah, I'm on a size, I think 10 or 10 and a half needle. So, and, and it's up kind of, I mean, almost like a. Aaron. An Aaron, yeah. I was gonna say bulky, but not, not really bulky. No. But it is so soft. It's really soft. Is this one for me? Mm-hmm. It is. So there's another one that but it's short sleeve or is it is no. it two three quarters three it has drop shoulders mm -hmm. and then it just has a little sleeve are you so going to do the sleeves tight i'll try not to <laughs> if i'm on a size 10 needle maybe i will <laughs> i'm going to try not to but i really have enjoyed working with it and we have a good selection of this we do have a good selection it's on the uh, website yeah, because she had done this, she brought this for the uh, pop-up. 
Yes. And she had just released it at yes. that point. Okay. Okay. And then, and I don't have very much of this to really show, but this is a test knit for um, Kristen Chinook. Mm -hmm. And it's a capelet that is really a nice design. Let me see if I can get it. Kristen is, uh, what is it, Media Piranha Designs? Yes. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but I, again, I used a brown in the diamond sock, but I'm holding a black mohair with it. It's called Birmingham. Birmingham. Mom named it. I let her name that one. Because but it was, it was a actually little, a good name, so. It was a little clever. And for those of you that don't know, Birmingham, Alabama used to be um, a steel mill town. And when you would drive into Birmingham, there would be a black cloud. It smelled bad too. <laughs> um, but there'd be a black, since then, I, I don't know that, I think the steel mills are closed there, but mm -hmm. it's not that way anymore. But I remember it from driving through this black cloud hey so she told me she needed black mohair so i dyed black mohair and then i came in with it and she said what are we going to call it what did you want to call it smoky something i said smoke smoke stack. Stack. i said no and then i immediately thought of birmingham so then i said okay well that's clever enough passes the test so what i was trying to achieve with this is for it to look like fur the brown and the black and it really does so I'm really pleased with it. So is there a picture of the ca uh, the, um, the capelet on the pattern on your notes? There's not really a picture. Yeah. There is a picture. So it's bottom up and there's a pleat. I see. And it, the texture and the pleat is front and back. And what you can't see, now this is a test. So the it's name not, is pending, right? Yes. Um, and what you can't see is on the shoulders, there is a garter panel. So it's a, it's a really nice design. But you're, so you said it's bottom up. So you're at this widest part right now. Yes. Going back and forth all, or not going back and forth all the way around. Right. But the stitch stuff is here in the middle. So you're having to stop and do that stuff in the middle and then in the back. And the garter panels down the shoulders. Okay. So, it looks like a pretty tight gauge. Um, it is. So now how many skeins do you think this is? And is it one size? Yes. No, it's sized. It's sized? Um, I think it's going to take two skeins of each. Two skeins? Okay. Of the uh, mohair and two skeins of the sock. So more to come on this. Again, this is um, Media Piranha. Or... Kristen Janook is the designer, and mom's test knitting that, so. And I didn't think that she fun. would care for me showing it because she's shown a picture of it. Yeah. So I hope not. Hopefully. But it was my experiment of trying to get it to look like um, fur. And it, I think it does, don't you? Yeah. So I just got distracted because where where's our Hopi bags? Sorry about that, guys. So. Oh, it's so cute. It's smaller than I thought it was going to be. So this handle. So did you learn about these when you um, were with her in Sarasota? I did. I knew when the update was going to be. So it comes in a little canvas bag. How cute. And it is oh, it's so soft tied with a little suede bow. Is there a pocket on the inside? Yep, there's a little pocket in here. And there's a hook in here. This makes... Oh, look how nice that is. Yeah, they're very nice. So well done. What'd you say? I'm sorry. So this is made 
So the strap can be like this, or you can put the strap like this, so you've got something to hold on to and knit from it. So isn't she doing smaller ones too? Like for a little notions or something? She's got but more stuff. She's got more stuff coming. She yeah. told me she had more stuff. So some smaller pouches. She posted a green one last night. I commented on it. So. And that's a pretty yellow. Hey, look, it's the same. It's the same. It's See, the same. it's See? a great yellow. I knew it was a great yellow. So there is the yellow. And, and I black. didn't take this and go buy it. <laughs> no, you, I didn't say you did. <laughs> okay. I haven't even seen it yet. I haven't seen them, yeah. No, I don't even know when they came in. I just knew you had you had gotten them. And she told me that she couldn't decide um, what colors to get. So now we're going to have a green one, too, because I told her I wanted a green one last night. <laughs> well, she hasn't come out with a, a date. It's going to be the end of July when the next pre-orders come up. But it, they feel really nice. Yeah, they're they're really they're nice. Really well done. So, um, is that Hoagie and Company? Is it that is. a is that a, a website that you can go to? If you go to Hoagie's website, she's a got a tab. Link? Okay. There's a tab that's Hoagie and Company. There's a tab for instructions. There's a tab for patterns, and then there's Hoagie and Company. So I know that she posts in her stories uh, and on Instagram when she's going to have an update too. She does, yeah. So you can watch for that. Yeah, if she doesn't wholesale them, or we would, or we would, we would be on that trying to get them. She so. looked at me and said, "I can't keep up with what's on the website, let alone yeah, trying to wholesale." Trying to wholesale. But th she does a very, very nice job. They're very. And she nice. designed them all. Yes. She she talked about it in her podcast. Yes. Okay, so I knew there was something else that I was that you wanted to talk that I about. wanted to mention. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm sorry for that distraction. That's all right. That's all right. That's not really all I've got. I've got to figure out which one of those I want to swipe. The black one. I think I kind of want the gold one. I got two of each, so I can have one of each. Yes. For all my projects. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll just use it as a purse. You could do that. It's nice. I have so many project bags at my home, Mom. And they all have a project about a quarter of the way done. Carissa and I cleaned <laughs> out the back room of the shipper robe and the credenza back there. And we unskeined, unpulled out quite a few and um, cleaned out the project know, bags and the needles. That. and. Yeah, we did that the other day. So I think it was the day you came in and we were sitting knitting and I felt guilty because we were sitting knitting. So we got up and got busy. It wasn't because I did anything. Right. I like this color, Mom. Good. Feels good too, doesn't it? It does feel good. It does feel good. And it's not actually too hot, but it is cool in here. It's 100 degrees outside. It's going to be 100 tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Saturday's supposed to be even worse. But it won't be long, and Everybody. who was it? It's, somebody said it's going to be 50 degrees, and we'll be headed to Rhinebeck. I know. It won't be long. We're excited about it, too. So, um, you started um, another test knit? I did, but I'm not far enough along. I'll show it next time. Okay. Maybe I'll be done with it next time. Poof. Poof. Because it's... How one, does she do it? It's one of those that... I could have stayed up a lot later last night and I got pretty far on it I thought you though. told me you were sleepy last night. I was sleepy, but I got pretty far on it to yeah. have just started it yesterday. But you got to do the other one too. So you've got those, you've got three projects. I do have two. Three. They're all tests. No. No. One's, that one's not a test. Yeah. But I'll get it done. Um, I've been antsy. So we don't really have any new yarns in really since uh, the last time we talked. No, I don't think so. I refreshed the Bishi Bush and I got an order of it in. Um, I got new knit blockers in. Yeah, we're gonna get some bags, some new summer bags in. They'll be in Saturday. And, well, we have a couple of things we're gonna order, but we don't have them ordered yet, so we shouldn't talk about them. No, but. So, it's summertime. It's a little slow. 
it's hot. But, oh, did you want to talk about this one, Mom? Oh, I did. I did. Carissa knitted this one. So this is um, Jennifer Steinglass, and it is New Leaf. Here, done, let's get it a little bit closer. Done in Diamond Sock and Spin Cycle. The color Spin Cycle is Time Bomb. And is that dyed in, it's dyed in the wool? Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, Deco Diamond Sock. So Time Bomb is one of their colors that really changes a lot, right? It goes from, it has from all blue the, to pink to orange. It has all the colors in it. And then there's some green at the end. That's yes, pretty. She had it on the other day and it looked really nice. There's so many short sleeve sweaters out this year. Well, this one could have been long sleeved. Okay. Could have been long sleeved. And most all the ones that are short could be short or long. Right. I mean, even the ranunculus, you can do long sleeve right. if you want to do it long sleeve. You could. But not the Millie. The Millie is only short sleeve. The one test knit that I'm doing can be short sleeved or long sleeve as well. Okay. So, and it looked really cute on. So, and she did a medium, roughly. <clears throat> she usually does about a 40. Okay. It's pretty. Yeah, the colors are really mm -hmm. nice. Looked really nice on her, too. I can't believe I almost forgot that. No, I can't believe it. I know. All right. So I think that's all we've got. Um, so again, um, we are doing the giveaway for the subscribers, for hitting 3,000 subscribers. And leave a comment. Nice ones, please. We always get nice comments. We don't, get, we don't get many bad comments. No. Not anymore, not since I turned into nice Heather. <laughs> Which is really just a joke because I'm <laughs> not, always nice. I'm always nice. Um, no, so that is, so show them again the giveaway mom. So it's the, the one skein of Julie Oseline Spino and the mohair, what is she called? What is the name of the mohair mom? Antola. Antola. Which is really pretty color and a little bag a julie oslin bag so and we're gonna pick the winner august 1st august 1st and we will comment on your comment so that you know that you've won and then you can contact and me then, yeah we'll talk about it on the next podcast too but you'll notify them before the podcast i will so i will all right i hope everybody's having a great summer um I hope all the kids are enjoying being out of school and hopefully it won't be as long next time. We'll try and do three weeks instead of four. All right. Bye everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you.